I have entered all of my raw data from my experiment onto a spreadsheet and I'm ready to start processing this and, and try and produce all of my uncertainties. Now for the experiment I did then the brightness in the room at the, on the day was 26 units so that's the background brightness and obviously all of the measurements I made include some contribution from that background so I'd really like to get rid of that by subtracting 26 from every single raw measurement. It would make sense to get the spreadsheet to do this for me. I quite like the format of the table that I have here so I'm just going to highlight the table as it is and copy it and paste it down underneath. I'm going to be updating all of my uh, irradiance measurements by getting rid of the background so I'll clear out the data from there and then I'll, I'll start uh, by using a formula to do 810 minus 26 868 minus 26 etc uh, and I can use autofill to save me having to enter the formula over and over again. So what's the actual formula? So in cell C17 I press equals, I click on cell C7, press the minus sign and then click on cell D3 and press enter. Now that works, it gives me the 784 that I would be expecting but it's not quite ready to autofill across because if you notice what happens when I do that the other numbers seem to stay the same 860 905 so to autofill to use the autofill tool if you're all you're doing is you're clicking on the green rectangle and then dragging it out to where you want it to extend the formula to now that didn't work and the reason it didn't work is because I allowed it to update the cell references. So if I look at that one there and double click on it, on the cell D17, you can see that it's now subtracting away E3 and there's nothing there to subtract. And if I look at the next one along, you can see all the references are moving along. Now I'm gonna fill this formula right along to row um, column six and all the way down to the bottom row. So I want it to stay on D3 the whole time. And the way to make it do that is to put a dollar sign in front of the D so that means that it stays on row um, stays on column D and put another dollar sign in front of the 3 which means it will stay on row 3 so when I autofill or replicate that formula across now the numbers update and double click on one just to check and you can see that makes sense 843 minus 26 790-26. Now I want to extend that down into the remaining rows so I can take the whole row and then autofill the entire row right down to the bottom in there. Quick spot check, double click on one of them. Does that look sensible? So I've got uh, F21 equals F11 minus D3 again. So that's looking good. Um, it's kind of destroyed my uh, formatting just a little bit but you can sort that so there you go so I've backtracked just a little bit because I wasn't just too thrilled to lose all my nice formatting so the way to extend the formula and preserve the formatting if you select the entire row instead of using the autofill handle if you copy to the clipboard and then go to the next area and select the area where you wish the formula to go. If you right click on that area and then under your paste options you can paste, you can choose what to paste. So in this case I want to paste only the formulae. There is an option there to paste formatting as well. So I'll just paste all the formulae in there and again double check by double clicking that is correct.